track today keep them safe throughout their whole day most importantly i pray that your love just fills everybody's heart in here today father through the highs and lows of the day i pray that you just allow us to feel your love and have us pray to you all day every day so i thank you for everything you do in jesus name in a reform our national anthem please welcome from the san antonio police department officer rebecca verbulin Can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last beginning? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch. Words so gallantly streaming And the rapids regular The bombs bursting in there Yay, proved through the night That our flag was still there Damn, they wasted the budget. Who could be the first repeat winner? All right. Maybe we'll see the first repeat winner. We got like five minutes until the command is left. <sighs> I'm in no mood right now. It's been this whole weekend. Where, this whole weekend has been absolutely terrible. But, yeah. What kind of household did you come from? I don't know. Why ask? Why ask? Oh, it's types of bread you grew up with. Um, I don't know. Which one would you choose? One trillion or ten minutes to do your way? Yeah, two minutes. Away. Took out the Austin Hill pose because it was blowing up. Damn. This race easily has to be a top five contender for highest attended races all year. It's insanely busy here. Great to see this. Instead of a second Texas Mercy Way day with 30,000 people. Yeah. Okay. The Drew and CM Punk segment about to feed families tomorrow? Yeah, it really is. I, I, I would love that. Why is everyone pinning so early? I have no idea. Category is worst di finisher. Worst current division finisher. Andy Hartwell. Okay. That's like, that's kind of like a random reckoning.
The woman's right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What did, what did Finn say? Man said eight time down. Screaming out loud. Eight time down, dude, just right now. Love that. I forgot Hamlin won, honestly. I already forgot some of the winners this season. Maybe. For the trucks, it was Sanchez at Daytona. I already forgot Atlanta. Kyle Busch, Atlanta. Caruth in Vegas. Ankis at Bristol. And yesterday, who was that? Yesterday was, um... Corey Heim. And then the Xfinity races, I think Xfinity winners this season. Is that a go-kart truck? What? I want to go there, bro. I should have gone this weekend, to be honest with you. I'm not kidding. I should have gone this weekend, too. I should have gone to that track, but a lot of things happen with chicken. Okay, so what else? <laughs> Uh, so the Xfinity races was Austin Hill twice the first, to start off. Vegas, who won Vegas? This is a big guessing game because I already don't know. Was it a cup leech? Was it someone? I guess it was someone, but I don't even know already. Did I even stream Vegas? Hmm. I don't know, actually. I might have to check. This is the first one where I'm checking who won the race. Nima check. Oh, okay. Who won the Vegas Cup race? It was Larson, I, I'm thinking. Yeah, it was. Uh, Chandler Smith won at Phoenix, and yesterday was won by Austin Hill again, I think, yeah. So the cup winners this season, it was Byron first, Suarez second, which was so fun. Larson was the third one, then it was, um, who was the third winner this, who was the fourth winner this season? Bell, and then Denny Hamlin was last week, okay. Now I know, the only thing I got wrong was, uh, Vegas and Phoenix from the Xfinity Series. Uh, Let's I love that go kart track. I wanna, I wanna go. Well, if I go to Coda, which I will, I just don't know when someday. If I go to that track, I wanna go to that go kart track. They're about to go to the command. Like it's literally, it's two thirty eight now, so they're gonna go to it now. The track limits have been so controversial lately, like, I have no idea anymore. Like, the penalties were so annoying yesterday. It's not F1, dude. F1 was actually surprisingly decent. Not good, but it was decent. Which sucks now. F1 sucks now. That Reddit car is my favorite one out of this weekend. That one in the Hamlin car looks so sick. Circuit of the Americas. This is the moment you have all been waiting for. Are you ready to get the NASCAR Cup Series Echo Park Automotive Grand Prix started? Here to give the command, the fire engines, is Emmy and SAG nominee, Giancarlo Esposito. Say in the Mexican Drivers, engine. Drivers, start your engines! All right, in about 10 minutes, we'll be going green. They're going to do, like, at least two laps around. One lap around is enough. <laughs> That game's already started going, dude. That's crazy. He almost killed someone. That Hamlin car looks so pretty. Hamlin and Reddick. Oh, I love how they have the white numbers. The red numbers are not doing it for me. I'm going to go get it now so I can just compare.
15, 15, and then 38. They have the longest the last stage. Okay. I'm still I'm still mad because like of the whole caution thing. Um, what's it called? I forgot. I think I'm I'm kind of pissed I got rid of the no cautions thing. I I thought it would be for good reason, but the only reason why is so like there can be more cautions. RFK Racing proceeds to tweet how to tank a man by Ghost Spring. That's funny. Y'all, pancakes don't be crispy enough. Okay. GTA Vice City or GTA San Andreas? I don't know. How is this on TV? What is on TV? Looks like a. Oh, it's in the car. Right Forever one of the Go Mania themes? I don't know. Have Drew come out to Cult of Personality. That would be sick for a solid heat. And then CM Punk comes out of this fire burns. Oh no, then Punk comes out to Broken Dreams. Yeah, like, I, like, all I think I know, uh, all I think is gonna happen is that Drew's gonna come out to close to personality. That would be so funny, because, like, Drew's already, like, the biggest CM Punk hater, more than Seth Rollins. So that'd be funny. Turn one, Calamity Corner. Five six wide. Where is my eight wide racing? It's in that one corner where if you go off. But I don't know why it's that specific corner though, because they do that everywhere on the track, and for some reason that one little corner is track limits. Track elements are so bull crap at this point. Hey, turn eleven, damn! It just caused a lot of calamity. The elevation in the turn one is 134 feet. The observation tower is 251 feet. That's great. Byron got first. Ty Gibbs will start second. That's cool. He's my long shot pick. Uh, Tyler Reddick is third. He's my actual pick. Uh, Christopher Bell fourth. Corla Joy in fifth. Whoa. Ross Chastain in sixth. Martin Shrek seventh. Denny Hamlin eighth. Chase Elliott ninth. And Bubba Wallace rounds out the top ten. Austin Cedric eleventh. Shane Van Gisberg in twelfth. Justin Haley, thir Whoa, Justin Haley, 13th. SVG, one of the notable names here. AJ Almeninger, 14th, another notable name. Larson, 15th. Kyle Busch, 16th. Bowman, 17th. Osama, 18th. Suarez, 19th. And Busher, 10th, 20th. 
Austin Dillon, 21st. John Randy Machek, 22nd. Kaz Grawl at 23rd. Ryan Priest, 24th. A uh, notable name here is Kamoi Kobayashi in 25th in the 50 car. 26th is Ty Gillen. 27th is Michael McDowell. 28th is Ryan Blaney. 29th is Harrison Burton. And 30th is Ricky Sinnoh Jr. 3011, I mean, 30, 31st is Josh Bray, 32nd is Chase Risco, 33rd is Daniel Henry, 34th is Zane Smith, 35th is Joe Logano, 36th is Brad Kozlowski. Uh, notable name here, Timmy Hill making his first start of the season, 37th, Eric Jones, 38th, and Nora Grayson dead last. Chastain got his first ever win here, which is pretty cool. Starting sixth. Yeah, I forgot, like, eh, never mind. I don't think he's going to win. Like, I'm going to go get the Hamlin diecast right now. Like the red numbers on that on the interstate car it does not fit for me. The white the white letters look the white numbers look better. Like it still look, the Hamlin car still looks nice with the interstate batteries, but like I I, I prefer the white numbers. Seventy five career F one starts for Kamui Kobayashi. Almany has three cup road course wins and Shane Van Gisbergen 81 career supercar wins. Sorry, there's the gardener. Like he's um playing the grass all the time. Shane Van Gisbergen two career cup starts. He was he won his first start at Chicago. The second start was at, was I think in Indianapolis where he got tenth. It's pretty cool. He's he's gotten all top tens in every single race he's ever done, which is only two. Alex Bowman starting 17th, his best Austin finish was second, um, uh, uh, what's it called? It was second in 2022. I remember that, because Almeninger was about to win, and then he got wrecked by Chastain. Well, to be fair, like, retaliated. Yeah. Like one of the busiest days ever in that car.
<laughs> they didn't let him drive it. Seventy-three miles an hour, or seventy-three is the temperature. I would have loved to be there. It's so windy. It's cloudy. I would have loved to be there. Are those all the spotters up there? Racing all says sixty-eight laps, two hundred thirty-one miles. Stages one and two are fifty or fifteen laps. The final stage is thirty-eight laps for some reason. Pit road is forty miles an hour. The fuel window will be at twenty-two to twenty-four laps. Just. Maybe do the same thing as last time, as yesterday, just pit at the end of every stage, maybe. I don't know, if, like, if I got out to, like, a big enough lead where I can pit and still be in the chance to get stage points, then yeah, I would do that. Priest Hill and Busher are going to the rear. 22-3 restart is almost closer to the line, and now it's moved all the way backward to the exit of turn 20. There's new pavement in turn 1 to 2, and turns 9 to 11, there's also new pavement as well. Turn 12, turns 18 and 19. It's pretty cool. Wonder how it's going to affect the racing here today. Yeah, I don't know. It's just that specific corner. I don't know why. Here we go. Green flags in the air. We're underway. Here we go. Calamity corner right here. Okay, I can see why they did that restart zone now. Oh, someone went up. I think that was, uh, I don't know who that was. Someone went up the track, though, like a big amount. Reddick wasting no time to try and get the lead. Already in second. I think he started fourth. Or no, he started third. Never mind. Now this is where they penalize everyone for some reason. I think someone may have already gotten a penalty by just doing that. They have to really be careful, I guess, because of what he actually approved. Alright. Turn eight is the biggest is the big is the worst one. Here's eleven right here. Oh, somewhat there. Chastain makes it three one on Hamlin and Corla Joy. Makes it work. Cars are still going three wide in this one right here. Oh you have some wrecking. That that is LaJoy. And I think that's Wallace. Here's Shane Van Gisbergen. These, are, these guys are way in the back right now. And everyone's already racing aggressively. Larson. Almondinger. Larson and Colic is not a good combination. And Byron already got off to a good enough lead. Hamlin gained that spot back from Chastain. And now everyone there is just a big, big pack. And there's going to be a wreck sometime, sometime here. Just don't know when. I don't know how long there's supposed to be a cloud cover here. One of the biggest technical turns, I think, are 19 and 20. This is 19 right here. Omninger! Dang. Being aggressive. Hamlin and Chastain are already battling for fifth, I think. And here's 20. And Hamlin and Chastain are already being very, very aggressive to start off. Shrek's the pit road, pass through. Shrek's and Wallace. Oh. Now Shrek's gotten some sort of.
I'm wondering what happened there in front of the Nick and Napper Road. Like, this early? Something must have happened. Sure, I just saw a little bit of damage on that right, on that left front, I think. LaJoy just slid in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that that was what happened there. Burns around. And you'll get that going. Back in 37th. Yeah, okay. Wallace, yeah, possibly the same decision. Because, like, he got, was in that same mix-up as well. I don't know if Harris is going to be in that 21 next season. Sendrick up to 7th. Nice. Almendinger into the top 10 here. Bell in his road course career. 20 starts and 2 wins. Okay, he won the Daytona Road Course, and I think he won... Where else did he win? Robo? I think. Well, Empire Road Course career has one win. 27 starts and 9 top 10s. Where was that one win? Walking Glen. There we go. I have knowledge. I love this drum shot. Hamlin got real loose. Look at that corner. And turn 11 goes by right here. Saturday at 7 Eastern next Saturday. Yankees, Astros, Giants, Padres. I don't know which one I'll watch. I don't know. And it kind of has a little bit of damage on him. There. His rookie career, his best finish was second. I think that was at the Indianapolis race in 2022. 15 starts and already 7 top 10s. That's already half of them. I feel like he's going to get an, a top 10 here. Oh, what happened there? LaJoy still losing spots. I have not seen that 50 card yet. I have not seen a scheme of it. Nemich just got past him. I just don't know where that where Kobayashi is. He's a two-time Rolex 24 winner. That's nice. He's in 25th. Side by side with uh, LaJoy now. It's a nice car by the 50. Oof. He's in 20s. Wait, what? It's Reddick's favorited by a lot. Almondinger is a long shot for Fox. Almondinger is already an eighth. Which is pretty cool. Didn't Almondinger win in 2023, like that one race at the Rumble? I think he did. I, just, I don't remember much from last season. Hamlin, okay, never mind. Hamlin's the best long shot as of now.
Yeah, Larson's good everywhere. Except for Super Speedways. He's not that good at the, over there. Neither is Chase Elliott. Actually, no. Chase Elliott just sucks at Daytona in general. Just at Daytona. He just sucks. Same thing with Larson. Larson had all Super Speedways except for Atlanta. No, no. All Super Speedways. Never mind. Oh. Larson got loose. Elliott kind of shut him out of the way there. Where is Elliott? Damn, man. He's an eighth. Oh, wait, no, Larson won yesterday. My bad. Thought it was Hill for some reason. I'm weird. I don't know. Cinder gonna pass Denny on turn 20. Here, there's Almendinger behind Hamlin. Hamlin gonna try and go for that pass. Never mind. We're gonna drop to seven. Now Hamlin lost it all the way to A's. Sorry about that noise, I'm sorry. Need me to check pass through? Coral the drag got him. First penalty of the day goes to Nemechek. Okay. <sighs> NASCAR fantasy is looking good. Yeah, <laughs> we'll enjoy. This isn't love and chaos against a new language. We need high. <laughs> we need high quality pictures. <laughs> Who do you want to see Taylor collaborate with next? No one. <laughs> Bubba Wallace with his code continues. Yep. Cowboys seem to be willing to let Dak Prescott hit the market. Cherry Jones, dude, sucks. Horrible. Judgment Day versus Monday Night Avengers. Remember when Kevin Owens did this on a random episode of Raw? <laughs> that was small on the outside. NASCAR Coda clears IndyCar at Thermal. 59 brother to the other to the Undertaker. Cindric and Almanier are battling for six. Almanier will get the spots for now. Oh, there's a pass for second. Gibbs gets in front of Reddick. Let's take a look at what's on the menu to sponsor by Crash. 
Huh? On the menu, flip the two stages and pit before stage one and two ends. Okay, another option is pit at the end of stage one, stay out of the end of stage two, and pit around lap 44 to make it to the end of the race. One fuel window opens around lap 44, pit for fuel and make no pit stops. I would. I'll, I would go for the second one. Pit at the end of stage one, stay out of the end of stage two, and pit around lap. And to, to collect stage points and then pit around lap 44. That, that, that seems like a decent option there. I'll take the second the second option. How much side games is working on the car right now? Let's go through the field. Larson's in 10th. Uh, Byron's leading Larson's in 10th. 13.5 seconds back. Todd Gillen's in 20, 20 seconds back. Oh, here comes Bell for third. Never mind. Reddick will get him back. Never mind. not last a day just driving this course. I would not even last three minutes. And, like, that's a whole lap. I would not last just driving this track. So much to do. McDowell is running 16th. McDowell is running 16th right now. He's about 17 seconds back. <sighs> Eric Jones is in 30th, 30 seconds back. <laughs> That's funny. Greg has been like at least 14 spots, and Bubba Wallace is in last uh, a minute and six seconds behind. So cloudy over there. Gisbring is currently 13th, and he started 12th. Pretty nice. SVG finished 27th in Austin Xfinity race yesterday. I remember that. Yeah, he was. He originally got second, but like, originally got second, but um, I 
Penalty. Penalty messed him up. And went back up to eighth. Cedric fell back to tenth. I thought something happened there with the freaking car. It's something weird. Oh wait, they're going side by side. Never mind. I was wrong. That gives Ryan the fastest lap that time and has cut William Byron's lead to 3.1 seconds. Ty Gibbs avoided the sophomore slump earlier in 2023, or in 2024. Rookie last season, and then now he just immediately just doing super well. Gibbs is now 2.4 seconds back, which is pretty cool. Where's Haley? Haley, uh, Rico Racing, especially like the last week, has been really cool. Has been re doing really well. Where's Chase Elliott at? Chase Elliott's like around 12th, I think. Chase Elliott's in 13th, Haley's in 14th. Where's the 15th at? Kaz Grala. Oh, Grala is nowhere near there. No one's wrecked. No one's. No one's off the lead lap. Girl is in thirty third. Dang it. Haley's been doing actually like pretty more a lot better than I thought he would do. In his fifty one car. Gibbs is really catching up to that twenty four there. So yeah, has been doing a lot more surprisingly better than I thought they would do. Daytona, it didn't look like that. It just looked like any normal Daytona race. Atlanta, same thing. It was just kind of like Daytona. But then Vegas, like, they started late. Like, most of them were in the top 10. Phoenix, they dominated. Bristol, same thing. Like, I did not expect them to do that well. It was going to be a Chevy type of year. I, I felt like it would be, like, a more of a Chevy type year. Fords would be still rebuilding somehow. I didn't expect the Toyotas to do that well. I thought it would be just Chevy number one, Toyota number two, and Ford number three. But for now, it's Toyota number one. Because, like, we've had Hamlin and Bell, like, two weeks in a row, they won the freaking last three races. Vegas was won by a Chevy. Yeah, the first three races were Chevys, and the next two was Toyotas. No Fords yet. Two point three now, which is interesting. Bell might actually like get to Gibbs before Gibbs makes the pass to Byron. Interval behind the leader on lap six, he was three point five seconds back. This lap, he's two point three seconds. Nice. Every lap, he's catching up by a lot. Almendinger up to six, Reddick is in fourth, and he started third. All right, so they track limit penalty for Nima check on lap five. Bell. 
Oh, he was there on that corner. He was there. Now just two seconds flat behind him. Briscoe and Blaney, where are they at? Oh, nine, battle for 19th there. Gillen's in 21st. Kobe Yashi's right there in 23rd. Briscoe's moved up at least 9 spots, right? Damn, they're about to make it 4 wide themselves. And they come into 11. Some good, kind of pretty decent racing so far. Oh, Kobayashi was there. Nearly took the spot away. Timmy Hill is now in last. A minute 27 seconds back. Haley is heavy road. We have cars spinning now. I would pit this next lap by her. This next time by Alco never run. Oh, Briscoe. Okay. 1.1 and a half seconds back now for Gibbs. It's getting close. Hamlin going to go around, or Larson about to go around Hamlin now. I reckon I'm a pit right now. Suarez currently 11th, he started 19th. Are so gorgeous, my goodness. Shane Van Gisbergen enters that. It's top 10. Larson is up. Uh, yeah. Playoff leaderboard entering today. Larson's in first. Bell's in second. Hamlin in third. Byron in fourth. And Suarez is in fifth. Shrek's in sixth. So literally, it's all the Gibbs cars. Reddick's in. Reddick's spinning. Almond in your pits, Bush pits, Hamlin pits, Larson pits. Slower than usual pit stop for him. Reddick is the first one off it right now. Shattered the rim. Oh my gosh. Gibbs is going to go for that stage if he's still there. Briscoe got a track limit penalty on lap 11. Yeah. Does Gibbs come in now or not? I would have came in at this point, at uh, this lap. Oh, uh, yeah. 
No, if I was like more up front than maybe, yeah, I would have. But no, it's understandable now. Barnes are going to up the road. Bell will stay out. And Pit Road is officially closed. Chassan comes in, sneaks it before him. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Pit Road is closed. Turn as fast as lap. So if he's a little bit too tight, then I'm gonna wonder what his actual fastest lap will be if the car is fully adjusted correctly. Combine will be the first one off the road. Oh, no! Oh! oh, that was a lot. That was one of the biggest lockups I've ever seen. So Gibbs, Byron, and Reddick will still get stage points. Same thing with Chastain. He'll get one. So Bell's up by uh, Bell's uh, leading by seventeen seconds. Suarez is gonna get good stage points. Oh, same thing with Dylan, Sinjak, McDowell, Stenhouse. It's pretty nice. That's true. Eighth already in points, three top tens and a win already. Doing really well. Gibbs in eighth, Hamlin in seventeenth, Truex in thirty seventh. Those are the jerkers of cars. There's no other uh, drivers except for like no 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 other Toyotas in the top twenty except for um. That. Kobe Yash is in 30th. Wallace in 32nd. There's Jones in 35th. Nemechek in 30th. 38th. Trix in 37th. As Bell is going to come across to get the final lap of stage one. Caution free. It's been, a, it's been decent racing so far. Going off. All right. Eighteen seconds now. Into 11. Man, why did they zoom in like that for? Career in, career in Coda, 2021, he finished 38th. Uh, in 2022, he got third. Uh, but last season, he got 31st. I remember because he got in a wreck. been all green so far. Just turn 17. It's been pretty decent racing. That's I'm, not, I'm not even talking that much because like nothing much is happening. Nineteen. 
And now into 20. Christopher Bell's going to come off of turn 20 and win stage one. Uh, yeah, it's gonna take them years just so they can. It's gonna take them years just so they can like catch all the way up. So, yeah, I'll be right back. I came back. Feel terrible right now, but I'm still sh doing this stream because I can. Stage cars are not going to record this way. I want to see this win. Yeah, it's so real. Like it, they take so long on road courses. I miss not having them. Yeah, no, that was, that was actually like a fun. Like that was actually kind of fun just to like watch that. Like, I have nothing compared to these guys on the start. Okay. Everything's made of music. Okay. I hate that racing has come back to where it started for me when I first started running for junior and now to chase. Okay. People on Twitter, when they get to, they say something incredibly stupid and get flamed for it. I like the number 20s team strategy. Take the for sure playoff point. Still a long way to go for the, before the end of the race with at least two restarts guaranteed. Smart for JGR to hedge their bets and multiple strategies as well. Jackman, Holland, Michigan. 
Central Michigan linebacker. Brian Dale, gas man, former soccer player, 2017 NASCAR Cup Series champion with Furnace Row Racing and Martin Trex Jr. Proud to have the game to play. Four very wins, okay. How good was it? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Around nine and a half. Yeah, I noticed that a long time ago. I think that's why they drifted back too. Stage one points. Bell got, Bell won the stage. Suarez got second. McDowell got third. Sindra got wait whoa okay. Sindra got fourth. I didn't know that. Dylan got fifth. Stenhouse got sixth. Byron got seventh. Gibbs got eighth. Reddick ninth. And Chastain got tenth. Wait what? I I have no idea. It's confusing me because like it says Hemrick did not get his did get a stage point, but like in the leaderboard it said he didn't. So I don't know. Season a number road. Suarez, Dylan, Stenhouse. There's Hemrick and Kozlowski. It's only like six cars. Oh, we're gonna crank it up. Okay. That was a short crank it up segment, but I, I don't know. It's better, better than nothing, I guess. I don't know. Shut up! Okay, we're straight talk wireless crap. What a difference a week makes. Chris or Bell staying out because Tyburn has been minimal so far. Bold strategy? Okay. Catching a Twitch right now? No. Andrade versus Ivar. Yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna be watching Raw tomorrow. Okay. What if Nick Aldis cost Cody Rhodes in WrestleMania? We all know Cody Rhodes and Nick Aldis have history, and Cody Rhodes can't beat Nick Aldis at all in for the world title. What if he still can't get over that and cost him the match for the world title at payback? We all know Nick Aldis has that evil inside him. 
Plus, Cody will be the champion on his show. Going from Roman to Cody is a big downgrade, and he wants to keep Roman as a champion and appear on the show because it draws. He wouldn't want the face of WWE to drop the belt and disappear for a while. My last reason is Nick Aldis doesn't seem like he likes Cody. One time, he kicked Cody out of the building, and the other time, he was upset that Cody left the room. Maybe that frustrated frustrated him so much for not obeying his rules that like he will cost him a match at Mania. And... I don't know. Okay, it was cool for the first two times, but Fox is just me running you and cranking up on pit stops. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I just don't think that will happen. We're really 13 days away from WrestleMania? Yeah, we are. I'm, I'm really excited. I just hope I, f I can feel better before that because I've been like really depressed this whole weekend. It's been like the worst weekend ever for me. I haven't, been, I haven't felt happy this whole weekend, but I'm still doing this. What is a wrestler you think is washed, but you're too afraid to say it? Not Nakamura. What has Carlito done to show that he's watched? That he's watched. I don't know wrestles anymore. Charlotte. Art starts with an R. Rey Mysterio, bro. Nah. Mercedes won anything. dang. CM Punk? Nah. Cody Ripley. Roman Reigns. Is Roman Reigns at April seventh. He better put me wrong, his last three matches were mid. Roman Reigns' last three matches were against Jey Uso. Like his singles matches. Um SummerSlam was kinda bad. Oh, Joe kind of sucked. Royal Rumble was okay, I guess. The pace card went off a long time ago, dang. Green fly back on the air, back underway for stage two. Let's see here. I love this camera. Byron with some smoke, locks it up a little bit. Nothing too bad, and there they go. Not a lot of follow up in Bell's tires as he's still going. Alright, good enough start. I don't think anyone's allowed down or anything. Nope. We're good. A lot of dirt being kicked up in turn, f I don't know, four, five, or six. I don't know. Dang, Hamlin got really loose out of 11. McDowell's on the fourth. He gives like shoves McDowell on the outside there. All the way down to six. Bell led six of 18 laps already. Byron and Reddick are so close to Bell, I just don't know how long it will be before they pass him. Mm, Bush gets by McDowell. And now Elliot's going to get by McDowell for ninth.
And now he falls back to 10th. AJ with a big lockup going into turn one. Off the base. He lost seven spots already. LaJoya's lost five. Kobayashi's lost four. Gillen and Amanir have lost three. Uh, it does mean kicked up like it's a lot. Oh, Byron might get him here. This is the boldest strategy. I'm glad they're trying a lot for with this car with with Bell right here. I think it's because Bell has that clean air. It works out for him a lot. Byron has the fastest lap by two milliseconds. <laughs> I think Byron's going to go underneath him to get it. And Byron's going to clear him for the lead. Spun out, yeah, that's what I'm just going to assume right there. Looks like he spun. I just don't know if he actually did. Maybe he just hit. Nah, yeah, he spun. Show the damn replay or something. Oh, Wallace. I mean, because Lasky really locked up and spun him out. I think that was to turn 11. Wallace is going to pit. Can anyone check if all the moths like to see if anything fits? No, maybe... Um, nineteen seventy five and nineteen. That's cool. Byron is zero thirteen in full to win conversation. NASCAR Tower has called three spins today that I've never seen as shown on the any of the feeds, including two in the last couple minutes. This is frustrating. Yeah, Fox is being terrible with the spins right now. Her gimmick is let's break the internet. Yeah. Well, 
weekly occurrence for me. <laughs> That's crazy. She doesn't know you. Bro! Larson goes around. Apparently, Christopher. Oh! Bell spins Larson. That's interesting. Funny Matthews with a perfect, with a perfect response. Yeah. Nah, Bell just went in there and just did that. Or, like, he didn't do it on purpose. It doesn't look like he did it on purpose. Like, he, like, did not break. Or he did not just, I don't know. He just went in there and spun him. It doesn't look like it's on purpose, but it doesn't look, it doesn't look like it's an accident either. Just being aggressive a lot. McDowell's down pit road now, finally. Where did Larson fall back to? And he's in fifth. He's in that minimal tire wear was actually like he was thinking facts about that because he's just doing really well with that. Well, on stage one, he has for sure stage points. So now, oh wait, but now he might have to because the fuel. insurance there. Gives him chest aim balling for third right now. Mm, my gosh, dude. Bell did not come down, which is surprising. Seven to go. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's go to the field right now. Shane Van Gisberg, or Byron's leading now. Shane Van Gisberg is in 10th. Uh, he's 9.5 seconds back. Truex is in 20th. 16.3 seconds back. wonder who's in 30th right now. So I think Bill has to come in, like, now. He must be really saving fuel if he's not here yet. If he's not in the road yet. Harrison Burns in 30th, 24 seconds back. Uh, Bubba Wallace is in the last 54 seconds back. Two cars are not the road right now. I just didn't see who they were. I didn't, also, I didn't even see where Larson was either. Mm, 
Okay. Okay. That's cool, I guess. I'm glad they got rid of that yellow part in the, in that little board, in that little bar there where it says how many, like, how, how much of the race have gone green and yellow. And Bell is pitting, yep. Suarez come down too? Looks like them. Yeah, that is Suarez. Byron's leading by two seconds now. Red X my main pick to win this race. I still have not. I haven't seen the Ghostbusters movie yet. The only reason why I haven't is because like um. I'm supposed to be at the track right now. That's the only reason why we never went, but now stupid ass shenanigans and I'm not in there. Damn, dude. It's time for justice. What is this? Fox Nation, okay. Should I watch the UFO? The UFO? I just don't know if I want to. I don't know. Richmond. Oh damn! They had they had they added the little yellow string to it, which I, which the whole reason why like after stages I never put the freaking, I never like after stages I never put the yellow the it I always just leave it green as green flag because I don't count caution laps. Uh, Suarez had a penalty, so that's why he came down. Shane Van Gisbergen came to pit road to pit. I'm think I hope Hamlin stays out like the whole time. I don't know. Haley's in 10th, which is cool. Host of us in 11th. I was really close with Cedric's pit crew. My goodness. Is it raining? I think I see raindrops. Too fast entering. Period penalty. Okay. This boy, damn, dude. Eleven career wins. Uh, his first win came in twenty. Oh, we have a Rex, Stenhouse, and Kobayashi. Oh, that might cause a caution here if he's not able to get back up. No, he is never. Oh, three wide: Bowman, Bush, and Almendinger. There's Elliot behind them. Shane Van Gisbergen impeding. Oh, okay. So the penalties have been mostly for pit road for speeding up pit road. Race updated. Stage one winner was Christopher Bell. Only two track limit penalties and, uh, yeah. No cautions yet. I look out stage cautions. Sorry, what? Bowman's in fifth now. I'm actually surprised. 
Fourth, fifth, and sixth, I've had a history in the 2022 race. Oh, we got into the back of him right there. He's not happy with Kobayashi, and that just spun him out. Oh, and then he took himself out. Rule number one in Star Car Racing, as Landon Castle said, learn how to wreck somebody without wrecking yourself. Damn, Stenhouse. I feel like Stenhouse was, like, all up on him. I don't know what Stenhouse tried, but it was wacky. Kobayashi currently 28th. His highest was 18th, and his lowest was 30th, and I think it's going to get worse. Byron's up at three seconds. Speeding up a run, SVG. Gibbs, uh, Chastain trying to get to Gibbs here. I've heard of Max Pappas. I've never heard of, like, I just, you know, I don't know who he is. Kerr and Coda. Byron had got 11th in 2021. In 2022, he got 12th, and last season, he got 5th. Byron's 11 career wins come from number one was at Daytona in 2020, number two was at Homestead in 2021. I think that was the only one for him. His third one came at Martinsville in 2022. His fourth one came at. Oh no, his third one came in Atlanta in 2022. The fourth one was at Martinsville in 2022. Fifth one came. I think he had five last season, or five or six. He had like he had six last season. I'm guessing because he only has one this season. Yeah. Oh, uh, was that Vegas Phoenix last season? Watkins Glenn, I know that one. How many are spinning? Reddick spinning as well. Pretty good. I think this is the last chance. Two pits. Hamlin's not pitting. Let's go. You get the first third stage points, Danny. Thank you for being smart. I think... Nah, I only have Chastain pitting here. I guess maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. Elliot Holmes of our Reddick, Allendinger, Bowman, Bush, and Haley, and Briscoe, and Zane Smith have come down pit road. Well, that's a big bump. Alright. Dang, how about Bell, dude? He just passed two cars in one corner. He made it three wide and he made it work. Still, everyone's on lead lap. That's actually crazy to me. So no way it ever goes this long. So will Byron pit now, or is he going to stay out and get those points? Twenty laps led by Byron, seven by Bell. Hamlin started 8th. Stage 1, he got 16th. He's in 4th in, in track for at least 7 stage points. Where's McDowell at? Byron's pinning. So is Gibbs. And Chastain. Does Hamlin stay out or does he come in too? Please stay out. Please stay out. I think Hamlin just stayed out. Hamlin stayed out, did he? Two to go. 
Yes, they stayed out. Let's go. So Hamlin will be looking to get the stage two win. Yeah, he got it. Hamlin up front now. Gillen's in fourth. Priest in sixth. Nemechek in the top ten. There's Chastain still in tenth. Oh, never mind. Barry's in tenth now. Kozlowski in sixth. Nemechek in seventh. Hemrick in ninth. Barry tenth. Yeah, take the playoff point. He won win this season. He's fifth in points. Two top tens this season. That one was at Bristol. Only driver to lead in all five races this season. He's led at Daytona. Yes, Atlanta. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that. Vegas, yes, like at least 20. Uh, Phoenix, like at least 10 laps. And Bristol, he led like, what, 50, 60, 70? I don't know. I think Hamlin's going to come down to play at lap 44. And that's what I think he'll do. So they can make it to the end. Around the 40 lake, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe after the stage? I have no idea. But I still would rather come in, stay out until lap 44, and then come in, finish the race off with the fuel. Blaney catching up to Danny now. 1.2 seconds back. Here we go. Final lap of stage one. Uh, of the stage two here. I'll be right back.
Ego. I'm sorry about that. I had to do. I had to deal with something real quick, but yeah. Yeah. Hammer stage points. <laughs> Break stage points, I'll gladly take. <laughs> yeah. The straws are pleased. Stenhouse versus the world. Payback for 18th. Wait, what happened there? Wait, well, I want to see this one. Stage points. Restarting 25th. <laughs> Payback for 18th. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I like that. I thought it was something else. Adam Colton bled <laughs> Daily road course stage, time for a 19th place finish. <laughs> Today, Hamlin and Bill have 10. Blaney and Suarez have 9. Shrex and McDowell have 8. Cindric and Gillen have 7. And Ryan Priest has 6. So Hamlin stays out? Oh. Nah, it's not going to rain over there. Or at least I'm kind of dumb. I don't know. I love showdowns. Cheaters! I'm saying. There is no rain anywhere. My gosh, I and mean, it looks so cloudy over there. Well, rain can hide anywhere. Wait, it's Sunday. Yeah. Down off the road. And it's 
Since there are no track limits here, except to get the S's with all of the alligator teeth uh, on the curbings and all of the bouncing around, the steering probably takes a bigger beating oh. here than anywhere we go. I, I would agree with you on that, Mike. And, and you know, we talk about the bumps up in the turn one and, and all the jumping around that it does right there, but when you go through um, turn seven, turn ten, and you just you literally just square the car up and jump it straight over the curb, all four tires almost probably off the ground, and when it lands, it compresses and it slams into the rub block. So you can hang around in that rub in eight, yeah. big, uh, four or five inches deep. Yeah, you can see he is wore out already. Get some more water. You're going to need it. You need more water. That's a terrible feeling. I've been there, Mike. A terrible feeling. 31 laps complete. Danny Hamill leading for Toyota. And Logan Carlson, the Toyota Camry XSC, leads the field here in Circuit of the Americas. Send it out to Singapore in. Funny. What is a kilometer ride? <laughs> That's crazy. That's so funny. <laughs> Send my weird mind back to Indonesia. <laughs> That's funny. So 37 laps to go is crazy. This is not the last uh, stop though. That was a slower stuff than I thought it would be. That's a cursed image, but okay. <laughs> That's a cursed image, but okay. Dennis. Mm. It's only been an hour and 44 minutes. We have a lot of time to go. This is gonna be fun. Who looks great with the spinner toe? Randy. <laughs> Trash. Oh my gosh, run to the year contender. Name is Skipless Album X and Y Copeland. Career versus career, make it happen. No. How long before these Roman Reigns fans start fantasy booking John Cena across Cody at WrestleMania? I don't know. Yeah, it's showing Roman Reigns on the freaking TV now. During entrances, there should be no commentary? Yes. CM Punk. Let's put it on the mic. Rock, John Cena, CM Punk, or Stone Cold? CM Punk. Actually, no, Stone Cold. Snow Cold. He's so over. There's rain on some of the cameras. It's overcast on windy. There's just no rain. It's just fluid.
You didn't even give us a chance. He's dumb, dude. Like you gave him one? <laughs> Whatever it is, don't look at it, not past it. Wait, what? Matt Riddle. Thanks for ruining SVG's first career win. <laughs> Throws it in the trash. That's the first time I laughed all day. That's crazy. I think at least one caution is going to come out. Mmm. It's gonna be at least an hour and a half before this ends. You're gonna fly back on the air. Here we go, this is gonna be a bigger research. Oh, bro did not care. Going into that corner, and Gibbs might actually take a lead. Chastain and Gibbs are not battling for it. Chastain up front now. Did he just say that twice? Chastain's completely off course, by the way. <laughs> but no penalty there. And the hairpin. Red extends it. He tries going third. He may be doing it. Haley's an eighth. Damn. Oh, have a right priest round. No caution. Doesn't look like it for now. Chastain still up front. McDowell's a lot down. That's the first car going a lot down today. finishes in Coda. It was 2021, he finished fourth. He won 2022. In 2023, he finishes fourth. So today he's winning. <laughs> Watch that happen. I've gone 0-2 in my picks this whole weekend. Dang, Shane Van Giesbergen. Chastain's still up front. He's not gonna. Yell. He's not pulling away so far. Hamrick and Barry are down for road now. Dang, they're completely in the grass.
Ross has not gone off to a steady lead yet. Just in. Yep. Harsh driver pass. Um, I'd say Ross Chastain. He's really good at air driving. I'd say Ross is a pretty good <laughs> Yeah, I was a second row. This award to Ross Chastain lately. Ross has proven to be really, really tactful when it comes to racing for position. Ross Chastain. I think that the hardest driver to pass is the wood car. <laughs> <laughs> he agrees. That's funny. McDonald's gonna lose another lap. Field, he's, he's got his Here comes Gibbs on the inside. Oh, but is he gonna make it stick though? Is he gonna get the clear? Chastain's gonna re clear him again. Take back the lead. That time he got away from him. And in a full screen commercial. Nice. I feel terrible right now. Yeah. Oh, he's going on my top five of Coda. Yeah, another drink's there. Everyone's talking about how Chastain is hard to pass, but y'all only saying that because you know what causes troop. <laughs> I'm not saying that. <laughs> What the heck? Relic lost three spots on that lap and is in seventh. Okay. Who's making me? Okay, no, right, I got it. Ryan Preach is ruining our day? Okay. The ra yeah, the race has kind of been boring. Zero race. Yeah, it's not about racing. What's going on? Yeah, F1, basically. the feature welcome now what a kick does she have a cast on her hand is 
That's crazy. How did it go viral? How did it go viral? Just be very Ripley. I still have Red Egg, but now he's back in like set, uh, like in seventh. Chastain. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just like bored. I feel horrible right now. All my, uh, let's go over top 10 right now, or let's go through the field. Lominick, uh, Chastain's leading. Allmendinger is in 10th, 6.4 seconds back. Austin Dillon's in 20th, 15 seconds back. Blaney at the 20th now to 15 seconds back. Since lap 34, he's been, uh, like, at least two car lengths all the way. Like, the next lap, he's a second ahead. No caution for cause. There hasn't been any cautions this whole race. It's crazy. Neiman Jackson 30 at 20.6 seconds back. Last car on lead lap would be Nora Gregson 81 or a minute and 11 seconds behind and McDowell's in last on pit road. Oh, yeah. Okay, fell out of control. Uh, he's gonna have to come out for road. Busher started at 36, so stage one got 26. 18th and stage two, now he's ninth, okay. Damn, AJ. Really gonna go for ninth there. Stage one started, uh, he started 14th, ended stage one and 14th, stage two got 22nd, now he's in the top 10. Does LA got an upper road or not? I don't think he can have a run. I feel like it's the one who got uh, penalized. I don't know. He didn't come up a road though.
side by side. I can't do this right now, but I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna keep streaming. I just can't do it. Yeah, Elliot fans continue. Okay, yeah, this this is For a spin, it's crazy. Bob Parker jinxed him again. This is not commercial. I'm just um. This is not commercial. I'm just gonna. Um, what's it called? This is gonna go on Twitter. He's gonna serve, he serve, it was gonna serve that penalty either way, so I don't think it mattered if it got loose. Kyle Bush spun out. McDonald's still on the rim. Shifted, Bell shifted late and had contact according to the Bush radio. Raw matches uh, of all time CM Punk versus John Cena. On the race update, take out the two cautions thing, because they're not actual cautions. They're just there. Wait, okay. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 24, okay. 27. 27. There. I think I got it right now. Well, oh, Bush trying to get back to the top 10. Imagine the race did not have stage cautions. Imagine how uh, it would be like 20 laps to go at this point. That would be crazy.
Bell and Almanay are battling for six right now. Bell won stage one and got 20th in stage two. He's six right now. Almanay is moving up a lot now. Byron caught up. Oh! You want to be in the best spot possible for that pit stop. Chastain will get the lead. McDowell is six laps down. Dang. Henrik and Barry are one lap down. Chastain, close there. Oh, Byron's gonna pass him sometime in between this. There's a turn eleven right there. Now down this big straight over him. He might actually do it here. I think Chastain has the preferred lane. Oh, but Byron still on his outside, and Chastain clears him again. But here goes Byron trying to cross him over. Oh, almost worked for him. Oh, but Chastain gets wide. Not clear. Oh, but he still has a preferred lane. Byron's going to control the race if he does that. This is allowing Gibbs to catch up as well. Chastain's there. Byron's there. Just when is he going to make his big move there? Oh, he has a preferred lane. Can he do it this lap? Chastain. Oh, it's way hard to go. Chastain still has a lead, but I think Byron's going to take it from him now. Chastain's gonna cross him up on the inside! Almost wrecks him. We got close to hitting him there, and now Byron clears. Car around, that's Kozlowski. You'll get back up. Dang. Chess ain't trying to get that spot back. I don't know if he's going to get it, though. Chastain got close. Oh, we give a strike getting into that corner. Now I'm to turn 11. Oh, no, not in 11. This is like around 12 or 13. All three of them are together right now. 
Only 36 yards on Lee Lab, McDowell. Six left down. Barry and Hemrick are left down. Who comes in now, though? Bowman comes in now. These guys are going to try and destroy each other for the lead as much as they can. Wow, since a lot of cars last bid in. Into 11 now. Can Justin do it? Oh, he got close. Bowman started 17th, stage 1 got 19th, and stage 2 got 14th. He's 23rd right now, because he just put in. Alright, here comes the 24 and the 1. I don't think Gibbs put it either. Doing like a lot of bold stuff this whole this whole race. Ty Gibbs only had three stage points this whole day. Stage two got 11th. He's leading now. Don't jinx it, dude. Nothing much has happened. Like I'm trying. Like I want to find something to talk about, but there's nothing really. Ty Gibbs is pitting now. Does Reddit come down to or not? I'm in your pitch too. I think Reddit will take the lead.
Is I'm gonna get out first or not? Nope, never mind, I was very, very wrong. He tried everything, he just couldn't. Reddick started third, ninth in stage one, thirteenth in stage two. He's first right now. Hamlin gets six here. Oh boy, Reddick, Bell staying up. Bell is on that other strategy word. I forgot. <laughs> Give me 21 to go because Bell's leading now. That is true. Byron's in six now. Hmm. Not sure about any of these, but okay, I guess. Track on the penalty for Stenhouse on that 46. Top 10s in any of the stages, 20th and 31st in both the stages. Uh, started 12th, he's in third right now. I don't know how this gamble for Toyota is gonna work out. Like, Hamlet sitting at the end of stage 2, is that gonna? I don't know how that's gonna work for him. He's a whole second slower. That's crazy. So is that it? Fox needs to go to commercial, sadly. <laughs> Imagine it. Like, he was so close. Full screen commercial 20 to go. I'm not surprised. Because, like, some kid was jumping over a rolling kid. What is Hamlin's strategy? F1 looked at F uh, NASCAR looked at F1 strike limits and thought that was a good idea, for real. I mean, they're an F1 track, so I'm not surprised.
Jared is tweeting from the Hamlin account. Last quarter race for NASCAR? Probably not. <laughs> Bell was three seconds slower that last lap. That's crazy. So they just spoiled well, that Coda will not be back next season. Dang. So it's not going to come back next season. That's crazy. Why did you only get a penalty? He swerved to miss the off. <laughs> That's funny. Some actual ex excitement going on for the lead finally, and we're going to full screen commercials for real. Positive vibes to Naomi. Bell Pitts, tricks leading. Yup, I just see that. Nineteen to go. Shane Van Hamburger. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's a horrible name for him. The nineteen is leading with nineteen to go. Yeah, one's bidding. Bowman's catching, okay. Call it terrorism might happen today. I don't know. You never know. Eighteen to go. Oh, I don't even think I'm gonna be doing Richmond. I might, I just might not, cause it's Easter. I 
I expect. <laughs> That's funny. Rex is not bumping down Bear Road, so Brian will take the lead officially. So I think Brian might have just gotten this lead. Oh, what did I just do? Something just happened. What just happened? It just like put itself away. Full screen commercials again is crazy. A full screen commercial. Okay, I don't know what just happened there. That was super weird. It just like put itself away. I don't know why. Brian leading at Coda. Last race with no natural cautions. Road America 2022. Oh my gosh. Five o'clock now. Let me just close my window. <sighs> and whole hour left. I might, I might want to go on call with someone if the race ends earlier than if the race ends earlier than expected. I'll call someone and just. Bro, what is that cut fades? Do not work on white guys. <laughs> Honestly, I kind of agree. I'm gonna go see you if I can just finally get my food. I haven't eaten all day again!
I had to clear something up. What happened here? Kobayashi went around? Alright, we're still 15 to go. He's like two seconds ahead. Let's let this go. Uh, let's uh, go through the field real quick. Briscoe's in 10, 21.5 seconds back. Cindric's in 20, 33 point, 34 seconds back now. Oh, we're actually seeing showers? Yeah, it looks like it's gonna rain, but it's not. Uh, Thirty-four point seven seconds ahead of uh, Cindy. Lejoy's back in eleven, which is cool. Zane Smith is in sixteen. Where's Osama at? It doesn't look like we're gonna get an SVG top ten, you guys. It's over. <laughs> Todd Gillen's in 30th, 50, 52 seconds back. And their last car lead lap is Griggs and 100 and a uh, minute 55 back. And still, every car is still racing in the race. 14 laps to go. Cup Grand Road Courses for Henry Motorsports, 26 poles, 27 wins, 16 stage wins, 151 top 10s, and 2013, 2,316 laps led. That's the most among all the organizations in NASCAR, which is cool. 14 to go. Oh, Elliot's around. Ryan in front of McDowell. Thirteen to go. Nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. This should be the last commercial. Yeah, they're not gonna go to full screen. Even if, even if they, even if they do go side by side. Yeah, even if they did go side by side, like I would just ignore it and just retweet tweets. LA goes for a spin. Food prices will get worse. Yeah. Josh Berry dumped Kobayashi. He's playing music. I can like hear him so easily.
<laughs> 21 pilots reference, that's crazy. Solution to not enforcing track limits, grass. Gravel trap? Yeah, true. Roman Reigns has never portrayed any of his brothers before him. He never portrayed the shield. He never portrayed Mox. He never portrayed Sammy. Uh, yeah, that's true. Instead, he treats them like garbage, and when they get fed up, he, him and his fans play victim. <laughs> Go would never, yeah. That's true. Can you be fat and still have water? I guess. Hazel's so annoying, dude. Are you pinned or not? <laughs> Cindric was so good. Like, I don't know. So why won't... No, never mind. So let's stop the fashion. Damn. Of hand me down as what? Imagine if Hamlin actually gets a top 10 out of this. That would be wild. The joint down to 30th, yeah. Bell passed ready for fourth. Hill and Barry are down, Hamrick's four laps, uh, two laps down, and McDowell's like eight laps down. <laughs> 11 to go. Body get 10 here. Bell currently fourth. Last lap speed was 92.5 miles an hour. The leader speed was 91.8. <coughs> Holy crap. Oh my gosh. I'm crying now. Sorry. Excuse me, excuse me. Oh my gosh. Like, I, yeah, I, I just got a like, random tickle in my throat. And I just died. That was a speed. He's like 9.2 seconds right now. <coughs> oh my gosh. That's great. Yeah, but as much as you can, setting up for the top of the hill may not happen as 
Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna care for side by side because like, watch it not go to side by side. There, I can tell they are because like the way they're just. Yeah, Fox just love commercials. Like we came back with eleven to go now, ten. Denny Hamlin? Wait, what? Denny Hamlin attempts vehicular manslaughter on a school bus? What? Vehicular manslaughter on a school bus? I don't think I've heard of that. What? What? That is wild. McDowell hasn't seen colleague back in 2022. Swear every road race had a power steering issue. Okay. Chase only went from legend to struggling boyer. Better than that, get your ass in gear, bro. Yeah, Why did TV executives from NASCAR and NBC and Fox decide, and others decide to send? Okay. Round 1 through 14 will be on Fox FS1. The, of the first 14 races, 5 will be on Fox, 10, uh, 10 of them on FS1. Including the Bush Clash and All-Star Race. And then Prime Video will have 5 races. All practice and qualifying for 16 of the first 19 races will be on Amazon Prime Video. Clash Days on and All-Star will remain with Fox. Right around 15 weeks 15 through 19 five races will be on Amazon Prime five races will be aired on TNT and simulcast weeks 20 to 24 and then re weeks 25 to 38 will be the final 14 will be on USA and NBC four on NBC 10 on USA all practice and qualifying will be uh, for the final 19 races will be on True TV and Max I think. I need to take. I need to like bookmark this just so I can see what the TV deal is if I ever for, if I ever forget about it. Did a caution come out? Not surprising. Point eight seconds back. Bell caught up. He's six point nine seconds back. He's three seconds back. There's still nine laps, so I'm just wondering if he's gonna be able to do it. We have a car around. That's Kozlowski. Trying to get that contract before Burton. No, it's okay. It's safe. Eight to go. Gibbs gonna pass Bowman there. Never mind. Not necessarily clear yet. Gives him my long shot. I need him to catch up.
sudden, instead of losing one spot, um, if you sit there and wait, Bell might be there right with you in one line. Oh, shoot. Eight to go, sorry. Jasain is catching Riddick. Almendinger, he's in seventh now. I did not think he was in seventh, okay. Started 14th, stage one, got 14th, and now he's in, he was in 22nd for stage two. Bell's now 5.7 seconds back now. Busher and Ace. Seven to go. This race is kind of dragging, to be honest with you. Kyle Busch started 16. Stage 1 got 13. Stage 2 got 17. He's ninth right now. And then Briscoe looking for a top 10. If Haley can't get up to him. Haley in 11th right now. Better get past him fast. He needs to get past him. Yeah, he needs to try as soon as possible. Just so. Bell's way too fast to not catch up. He's gonna get it right up here. Gibbs is catching him uh, kind of, like, not really. Sorry about that. Last lap speed, like, is almost a whole mile an hour faster. He's now on third. He's going to catch up more. This is going to be interesting. I gave Zinnable behind leader. Yeah, and Lafferty, since Lafferty, he has been catching up. Get, I, need to, I just need Gibbs to win, first of all, because he's my long shot. I didn't pick Bell at all. I need Gibbs or Reddick, Almendinger, or Larson. Larson's nowhere to be found. Where is Larson, by the way? I have not seen Larson this whole time. He's someone in the top 20, I know that. just haven't seen him. He's in 16th. Logano currently 30, started 35th, stages 1 and 2 is 24th, and now he's 13th. I haven't heard his name all day either. Started 10th, and he's 15th now. Stage 1 was 32nd, stage 2 was 27th, and now he's 15th. Larson in 16th. Highest was 6th. Lowest was 36 at one point. That was on lap 22. 16th, I know. I thought he would, I thought he would be in contention for the win, but not, no, I guess not. Zane Smith started 30th. Stage 1 was 31st. Stage 2 was 26th. And now he's in 17th. 
There's Denny Hamlin right behind him. Oh, never mind. Bell now four seconds back. Gibbs is falling back as well. Passes Chastain for six. Oh, contact there. Five to go. And now I think this is where Bell's not going to catch up anymore. Then. Average lap of last caution, lap 66. There's two with two to go. I hope that does not happen. <laughs> Allen and Joyce can stay out and get the win. Five to go. Nothing has happened. It's been mostly nothing. Just trying to see what's going on here. Something happened with Byron. Okay, never mind. I was about to say something happened with Byron that they're not good that like they caught up like that. I mean, Bella's kind of caught up, but then it's been mostly kind of stalled out now. I think Bell really needs to get it on Gibbs now. No adjustment is crazy. Is someone smoking? Oh, okay. Never mind. They're actually really catching him now. Oh, he has Timmy Hill in front of him. They're really catching him now after that Timmy Hill stint. And this is going to get interesting right here because who's going to just get the win here? Oh, they really, uh, they're really catching him now. They're like 2.4 seconds back. This is going to get interesting right here. Has not been that good of a race, to be honest with you. Well, this is about to get interesting. Bell, this is 
since it's been stopped. Well, that's that traffic we talk about. It just, when you, when you get right there, you can't take it. He needs to get right around him. Because now he's, now, now Byron's pulling away from him now. It's three to go. I think in turn 11 is that's when he's going to most likely make that move. Right there. I thought. Oh, I thought Bell went around him. No, never mind. Oh, Bell's trying to get. He got it. Second place, right there. He had to really move him there. So now. Can Bell really, really catch up? He got around Gibbs, and now he has nothing holding him back. Now can he catch up? That's his last 60 to the last four laps. He caught up by a lot. With two to go. Two, two, two laps around the track is a lot, too. Going, he might have cut that corner. You never, I didn't. Now he's just two seconds flat behind him. Halfway around it now. Now in turn 11. Bell is going aggressively now. Now it's on this long straightaway. And then this is the replay part. And just show us that. Wow. Impressive there. He nearly spun out on that last corner. He sent him down. Like, Bell nearly spun out because he, like, almost badly messed up one of the corners because of how aggressive he's doing right now. He cut the lead down, but then it's going back, but now it's cutting down. It's a matter of time. Can Bell do it? White flag in the air. Final lap. This is going to get interesting right here. I do not think he's going to get it though. 1.7 bag. I just don't think he's going to get it. So this whole race is just literally just went green. 
We have some bad news also. SVG is not going to be able to get his top 10. Dang, 1.2 seconds now. He still has a lot of track left. Jumping the curves. He's there. Bell's there. He, if he can just get if he can just get Byron to mess up, that's gonna be the lifesaver for Bell. Now going into eleven, this is gonna be the biggest corner for him. No lockup or anything. Smooth grip there. Oh, I did not catch it for Bell. I think that might have done it there for Bell. There's still like at least eight more turns to be made. Here in the 12. Oh, he's there. He's there. He just needs to make something happen. Yeah, that might actually do it there. Oh, he's there. He's like eight tens back now. I think he's gone now. He came close, dude. Just a one more corner left, and then I'll do it. There they come, and I'll do it. William Byron's gonna go ahead and win the race. That was a good, that was a hard fight. That was well done at the end of it by Bell, but unfortunately it just didn't get it. So I officially went like that. So William Byron is going to win. That race was not that good in my opinion, to be honest with you. the winner. Christopher Bell will be able to get second. Ty Gibbs for now is in third. Bowman in fourth. Tyler Reddick in fifth. AJ Allmendinger will get sixth. Chastain seventh. Busher eighth. Kyle Busch nine. The Martin Trojan will run out of your top ten. Uh, Joel Logano will get eleventh. Oh, wait, hold on. I'm just going to see his burnout for a little bit. Last three. Last one was Rovo. AJ won that. La the other last one was Walking Glen. He did win that. I remember that. <laughs> it, was, it was between him and Hamlin for that race. Messing around. Well, it's always on the start of the season. The 24 does good, and then he just sucks the rest of the year. 
are still here. Chevrolet, first, fourth, sixth, seventh, and ninth. Toyota, second, third, fifth, and tenth. Fourth picked up eighth. My name to burn it up. Let's see how this goes here. I was going to set the car on fire. Oh, he, yep, it's flat. Now it's flat, I can see it. Yeah, it's completely destroyed. Burn the crap out of that thing, oh my gosh. Like, you can see, oh, oh my god, the tire's gone. The tire's completely gone. Destroyed the whole thing. Dang, he destroyed the, the rear end so hard. The rear tires he just killed. Wow. Man. Awesome, awesome job for him. Christopher Bell will end up, will end up getting second. Will end up getting second. Bell uh, gives third. Bowman fourth. Reddick fifth. Almendinger sixth. Chastain seventh. Busher eighth. Bush, Knight, and Trix are running at the top ten. So many opportunities to make mistakes on a road course this size, yet you seem flawless. How did you pull it off in such a dominant way? Yeah, I feel like I made a lot of mistakes in the last ten laps, just little micro errors, and Christopher was really fast there um, on the longer run. But uh, this sport is just so hard. It's so difficult to, you know, week in and week out, show up and have fast cars. And uh, we've had a little bit of a rough stretch the last few weeks, but. Just put a lot of prep work in this week, and um, just thankful for the team I have around me, all the people uh, back home as well, uh, Joanne who helps me, and uh, Ken who is here today, uh, Max. So all these guys play an integral role in preparing, but uh, just super thankful for uh, having this opportunity, and Raptor, Chevrolet, Babylon, Liberty University, all of our partners, Exalta, Babylon, yeah, everybody, hit your cars. So. It's just a lot of fun to uh, to win races and Oh it's on fire. It's on fire. Uh, but we're gonna enjoy this one. This is rubber on fire. I knew it. Boys over here. Your pit crew got it done today, three seconds faster than the one that got you back out in the lead. What is it like having a team like this that you know you can count on when you come down there? Yeah, I just feel like when we're when we're on, uh, we're firing on all cylinders, whether it's pit road, strategy, uh, calls on top of the pit box for changes in the car, so um, just thanks to everybody on this team. There's not enough people that get credit, but uh, this is really cool. And um, like I said, we prepared really well this week, and um, it's just difficult, man. You just gotta keep keep working. All right, William Byron gets it done here in Austin. There you go, Logano's gonna get 11th, Blaney 12th, Briscoe will get 13th, Hamlin and 14th, Bubba Wallace 15th, Chase Elliott 16th. Uh, Justin Haley, 17th, Kyle Larson, 18th, Dustin Cedric, 19th, and Zane Smith are on your top 20. Shane Van Gisberg in 21st, John Hunter Nemechek, 22nd, Carson Osovar, 23rd, Ryan Priest in 24th, Corolla Joy, 25th, Austin Dillon, 26th, Todd Gillen, 27th, Kaz Gala, 28th, Ricky Sanos, 29th, and Kamoi Kobayashi rounds out the top 30. 31st was Harrison Burton, 32nd. Oh, Kyle was yelling at him on pit road. I just saw that. Like, they just panned the camera there. Okay. Uh, Harrison Brennan, 31st. Dallas Suarez, 32nd. Ari Jones, 33rd. Brad Kozlowski, 34th. Noah Gregson, 35th. Josh Berry, 36th. What do we do with Adam Sheldon? Huh? Keep all of them, bro. He said keep all of them. Oh, my God. Yo. Josh Berry, 36th. Daniel, 37th. Dan Henry, 38th. And Michael McDowell finished last 17 hours down. 
Fifth straight top ten this season for Ty Gibbs. Like, I'm guessing he did not get a top ten at Daytona. Is he old enough to drink a monster? Okay. Who is this? Is this LeJoy? Yeesh. It's not that hot, but yeah, it was a lot of work and a long time. Damn. Yeah, it's a lot of work, especially around this track. So if, if it was hot here, it would have made it so much worse. Texas weather is so bad sometimes. Like, Texas weather is so, like, insane. Wow, Clint. <laughs> NASCAR ha having, you can't have bangers every week. No, this was an okay race. This was decent. William Jefferson Byron is crazy. Alright. Okay, let's see. 2023 Watkins Glow. Okay, wait. This is a thread right here. Why William Byron has yet to win a real race? <laughs> no way. 2020 Daytona runs were too easy with this package, and it took zero skill to get to the front. And tire field had to wreck, plus it was a super speed win. 2021 Homestead, what can I say besides my 50 more start? 2022 Atlanta, new track, new car, and super speed win. His only, his only opponent was unfairly penalized. 2022 Martinsville, impossible to pass with the package in overtime. 2023 Las Vegas, overtime. 2023 Phoenix, overtime in illegal loopers. <laughs> 2023 Darlington, not only did Truex kill every car in front of him, but the leaders also wrecked each other and it was overtime. 2023 Atlanta, irrelevant all race, stayed out, started raining, quote unquote. And then NASCAR waits around like 10 pace laps for it to actually rain and then wasted no time on calling it. That was, the, that was, that felt rigged in my opinion. That's his sixth win. His seventh win, 2023 Watkins Glen, no stage cautions and impossible to pass with, that, with the package. His eighth win, 2023 Texas, late race restarts, leaders wrecked, all he had to beat were midfielders. <laughs> 2024 Daytona, super speedway, Leader, leaders wrecked, caused the big one, late race restart, nowhere all day. <laughs> 2024, 2024 Coda, cloudy race, impossible to pass, no real questions, will this guy ever win a real race? <laughs> this is not meant for real purposes, this is not, this is not, like, this is taken as a joke, you should take it as a joke. Ty Gibbs officially leads the NASCAR Cup Series standings, though, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. A mid-race for a Byron win. Um, the five-race streak of unique winners were, is over. Byron, Suarez, Larson, Bell, and Hamlin. Okay. That race is boring, but, like, that was just un unenjoyable. I don't even know what... What did I rate Phoenix? What did I rate Phoenix? I rated a 3.2. This is a 3. Oh, boy. This is just, like, very boring, in my opinion. The Xfinity race takes the Xfinity race takes the cake as the best race this weekend. So really nothing much to do now. We have like at least ten minutes left. I'll try to raise him up. <laughs> That's crazy to say. 
Shame, too, after the race we had yesterday. Montreal comes to the cup schedule. I want to take Coda's place, even if there's a 99% of it. Chance of it replacing Iowa. Is Byron going to have that huge hat again? All these tracks were going to put on a better show today. Is that Knoxville? Ugh. <laughs> no looks, bro. I disagree, kind of. Nashville. Fair guns. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. I'm so shocked that this is pretty much a win. Yeah, like, I thought it would get 19th. It was 14th. You got 14th. Wow, Clint. By Byron must have had his back there. Bro, <laughs> I don't know. No, no. Well, all the Chase fans now just now losing over track limits. That's crazy. If you complain about how this race is, just say you hate racing then. Did you enjoy the race? No. <laughs> it's a 50-50 on this poll. Grayson parked in front of the leader and Fox did not give a damn. Yeah, they missed like at least three spins. Bowman got a fourth place finish, which is cool. I don't know how he's been this season. Where did Bowman finish? Or how has Bowman been? Bowman this season finished. Second at Daytona, 27th at Atlanta, 18th, and then 20th, and then 4th at Bristol. Yeah, he's been doing okay, I guess. Redick? This season finished 5th at Austin today. Uh, he finished 29th at Daytona, 30th at Atlanta with the, both the Super Speedway races, and then he's had 2nd at Vegas, and 10th at Phoenix, and 30th at Bristol. So this was only his third top 10, second top 5 this year. Okay. Yeah, there's like eight minutes left on the broadcast. I'm never gonna do that. There's only like eight. There's eight minutes left for me like to do. I hope Corolla Joy is alright. People on this website are toxic. What'd they say? Wait, what'd they say? LeDro was on the ground, yes, but like, what happened? I know, I know, I just saw it, I know I saw it, but like, what did people say? Dante Leon's mind blowing shooting star stunner. That is wild. I think Scott Bush didn't try, like, fight, try to find him. At least. On June 1st, okay, I don't know. And my misery. This was so funny when I saw it. Boy. We got a lot of mama's boys out there. 
No, why am I watching this? Oh no, what am I watching? Oh no. That's crazy. <laughs> Stardust? No way. Damn, dude. That's crazy from the rock saying that. This is so funny. Wow! Don't reference him. That's crazy. That was weird. Okay. <laughs> That's wild. Okay, I cannot show that. <laughs> I cannot play this on stream. I cannot play that, dude. I love the fact that anytime Byron wins is a boring race, but it was boring though. The Atlanta race was so much fun. What's funny that it was Kyle's fault? <laughs> it actually. I won't say what I want to. Corolla Joy sucks. Whoever decided to introduce track limits in NASCAR may have killed road course racing. This is unwatchable from the stands. But the penalties! Okay, then don't cut the track. <laughs> this is still better than anything I've seen in Run America. Run America is at least in a better atmosphere. I don't know. It just looks... It looks more... <laughs> like, I don't know. It just, it just looks so pretty over there. Especially, like, in person. It looks so nice over there. Like, it, racing in the forest is, like, a dream, dude. I love it. I, like... If if I had to pick one road course race to ever go to, Road America. Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna get spammed here and I'm not ready for it. <laughs> Why is it in the world? He like burnt out the whole tire. Crazy. This is boring and we're so dead. Yeah, I don't know why we're all we're all so dedicated to watching this boring crap. I uh, was just reading a few a uh, few more tweets and then I'll just uh, log off for the for the day. 
Swear Strickland recently spoke about his experience working with CM Punk. How was his last TV match? The All Star Tag Match on Collision. I had great experiences with him. Didn't interact with him a lot, but I always had positive interactions. My first day there, I was taking photos and renders, and he jumped in and photo bombed it. I never even spoke to him or had an introduction, but that was his first interaction to me, and I was like, "This is cool. That's dope." When it, when I went out and did my contract signing, he was like, "How did it go?" It went excellent. Thank you. He says he's always been a positive influence on me. Nice. CM GOAT! <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna do it for that. Oh shoot. I, I got I have six messages I need to read. I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, but that'll do it. If I had to read this race, if I had to review it, this is worse than last year's. Last year's had a, a, a little bit better racing, it's just not as better, but like last year had a little bit of better racing. And yeah, I divided the, the vibe last season. I don't know. I'm just gonna give this a three out of five. I didn't enjoy this too much. It was kind of bland, mid. I don't know. But that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you all for watching. And as always, have a good night. I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll see. TBD. Follow me on Twitter. Thank you all for watching and have a good day.